All right, everybody. Well, welcome back to Talavir. Uh, the mood's a little somber. Um, and uh, just before we get into it, um, just want to start off and say uh, that since last Tuesday or Wednesday, um, our gracious host, Susie, has got subs on her channel as part of being an affiliate. So just wanted to start off to say that if you've got the money and you want to support a fantastic streamer, click the button which is uh over somewhere over there i'm not sure it's, it's kind of hang on hang on where am i there there it's above me look up yeah so uh thank you to anyone who chooses to sub on you know uh you support this <laughs> It's fine. It's your channel. You spot this stream and every other stream. I was stream muted anyway, does. so. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, Matt and Dazza. He's <laughs> yeah, professionalism. Yeah. So, <laughs> with that, um, we're just going to get straight into the game. I apologize. I'm a little bit scatterbrained today. I've had an interesting day. Uh, so, let's begin, shall we? So, when we last left our adventurers, they had just won the first round of the Tournament of Cuprum. And moving forward, they uh, regrouped. They decided to watch one more match and then leave to spend some time uh, getting themselves in order. However, things did not turn out as expected when the arena was ro rocked by a huge explosion of arcane magic. As a enigmatic figure known as Calciferous uh, laid down a decree against the Grand Arcanists, basically asking them for what Grand Arcanists had taken from them back. But that was not the only thing they uncovered. As uh, this explosion rocked the arena, uh, it made one of the people dragging boxes into it fall and drop their box, splitting it open. Inside, they found a number of copper chokers seemingly to be given to the uh, audience of the uh, tournament. So as they prepared themselves for the second round, they were met by a challenge of their own fears. And after being shown through all of the greatest regrets and fears of the past of each other, the fear of the present came into being in the form of Randall's mother, who, before her own son's very eyes, first time seeing him in many months, was slain. And we ended the session as we will begin it. As the crowd cheers around you, you stand in circling Randall, who is on the floor, cradling the now still corpse of his mother. I, I stand up. I look around at the crowd. As, the, as you, as the realization of what's happening begins to set in, the crowd quickly quiets. Upon understanding that the illusion was not an illusion, cheers turn into a silence. Are you entertained? Is this what you spent your money and time to come to see? <laughs> Whoever is responsible for this will pay. And you hear the dog. If you know, side of if you area. know, if anyone knows who was responsible for this, you come find me and you let me know, or I will do it myself. As you see from the open gate, a procession of five guards and two uh, elderly looking uh, characters androgynous in, from this distance um, wearing the grey garb recognisable as the Church of the Ascendant stair come walking in. You see they've all got rather 
hard looks on their faces and the odd the odd numbered guard who is stood with the the uh, clergy steps forward we um we don't know how this happened but i assure you that whoever is meddling in these games they will be brought to justice for your sake, as much as the law of this city. Well, I hope for your sake that you find them before I do. You understand the consequences if you take this into your own hands. Do oh, don't worry. Do... He doesn't have to take it into his own hands. I will. There's one thing I've learned from this Dragonborn is about vengeance. I want to make a point um, on recognizing um, that that these are, are clergy people coming towards and um, guards and things. I want to make a point of just standing up um, and hauling oxen up to his feet as well, next to me. While I understand your emotions are high. Please, you must Astronomic, see... I think, is the word you want to find, not high. High. High, he says. No, no. These, these aren't high emotions. This is this is the depth where I find myself in. But right now, you would only damage your family further by chasing this forward. Yourself. <laughs> Is this a threat? It's not a threat, no. Oh, <clears throat> good. It's I'm just letting you know that while I fully agree that this person needs to be brought to a swift and final justice, yes. that it is not under your jurisdiction. And if you attempt it, I am holding by the law okay to intervene that's fine are you flammable which law because if you get in my way you will soon find yourself that way i assure that you. was that was a threat just in case you weren't sure I so know. you do your job and you sir, find them so i know i do sir i know and i'm not going to belittle your grief but I don't want you to make a stupid mistake. Can, can, right, the guys who have come out, uh, yes. who have come out, there two, are two clergy five, and some knights. Th there are five Evergard here. Um, the one in the center is wearing more elaborate armor. Um, he's, uh, you know, uh, much more, he looks much more important. Um, he's got sharp elvish features, long auburn hair. Um, the Evergard, they got shields with a uh, they do. sigil on. They do, yeah. I, I point to that, like, which law? The law of... Uh, what's the sigil? It, it's... The, is it the, the Cuprum, or...? No, it's... The sigil is the sigil of the Evergard. It is the uh, broken mountain with the free souls in front of it. Okay, so I, I got a point of that, like... So... Sorry, let me. The law, the law of the three mountains now. And I go, you don't see me carrying a shield because I answer to a higher justice, to a higher law. Enjoy you. This, this will not stand. Back. F fuck it, whatever. I fine. It seems there is no reasoning with you. You have not committed any offences. So there is nothing I can do right now. But I hope... Well, there is, there is something you can do. You can turn around, you can walk away, and you can go and find out who did this. That That's way nice. you'll be slightly a few steps ahead of me, and maybe you'll find out who it was before I do. As you wish. If you need my help, or if I asked for you, 
simply come to Everwatch. Okay. Stay safe, Randall. And the rest of you. It's not us that need to be stayed safe. It's the people that do this that need to stay safe. And hope that you find them before we do. So. That tone will not do you any favours. But I accept it. Farewell. These clergy are here to assist. Where are they taking her? Wherever you wish. Do I recognise what clergy these are? Yeah. They have the grey robes on. Then I'm going to stand in the way and say no. No, we have holy people with us. We'll manage. Thank you. Two clergy look at each other. Is this your wish? I look to you, Randall. Don't, don't let them take her. I walk back to my mother and I do my very, very best to pick her up and, and, and carry her. I go over and help just in case he needs it. We'll manage. As you will. May gods be with you. Walk to higher heights, Randall. And they both bow. And then with the guards leave, except for two guards who stay behind. And they just say, we're to escort you out of the arena. Oh, don't worry. We're going. As you walk with the guards and you exit, the doors close behind you. The silence of the crowd still hangs in the air. With a last... The doors close. And the cool air of the interior hits you. This is fun. Our character. So, <laughs> where would you like to go? I'd like to go and take my mother to the sanctuary. It's where she grew up. But it's quite a distance from here. Like, we'd have to leave Vault entirely. I realize that I don't. If you don't want to come with, then I understand. No, I'll come with you, Randall. Yeah, I'm, I'll go with you. I also Important. should try and find my father to let him know what has happened. Um, help me find the fucker that did this. Mm hmm. That's all. You guys have done so much for me already. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry that it, it's come to this. I didn't expect our visit to Vault to be quite this complicated. Randall, you're not... You're the, the last person who has to apologise for anything. I I'm thought... so excited to come back to Vault and show you my hometown. I know m m maybe it's not my place to say it. And maybe this isn't the right time to say it. But I promise you that things end up looking up. I, I promise you. Not only have you made the best choice that you could right now in holding on and making sure that she goes to the right place. Making sure that nobody from anywhere else interferes. I don't trust anyone in this city. There are certainly people in this city you shouldn't trust and you just laughed in their face and I could not be prouder of you for that. I don't trust just, any of anyone that has a uniform in this city I will not trust. I promise you. I promise you. Things can get better again, and all those things that you want to find, you, you can find them. I admire your opti optimism in this moment. 
but unfortunately right now I do not share it. I'm just, I'm going to take off a part of my armor across my arm um, so that everybody can see the scarring on it. Okay, and as Adara takes the gaunt off, you can see underneath, um, as she pulls up the sleeve of her gambus on, there are burn marks all around her arm um, that are in the shapes of chains. I promise you, in the face of tragedy, you you can step forward again. And it will take you some time. But you have a better head start than I ever did. I promise you. I thank you for your kind words. If I can help, I'm here. All I ask is that you help me find the fucker that did this. You got it. That I've is got all. Several, uh, several that's pointy all things with their name on. I promise you that. That's it. That's all I need. And find I think out we why. Know who. <sighs> yeah, maybe. So. Yep. You want to talk about vengeance? <laughs> you want to talk about vengeance right now? <laughs> Where would you guys See, like to go? Well, I was about to. Okay. You carry on. Carry on. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I've, oh, I've lost it. Fuck. Oh, oh no, it's gone. <laughs> Never mind. Apologies. <coughs> you mentioned so. a sanctuary, Randall. Where is it? Yeah, it's um, it's quite you, some distance from Vault. Yeah, you'd know about this as well um this the sanctuary is the name of the uh elvish free city that sits up against the central mountain range that runs through around it's um it's the other side of like isle guards is it isle guards wastes yeah isle guards that, wastes yeah. yeah it's the other side of that it's it's quite a distance and we would have to leave alt for some time I don't know much. I don't know much about looking after bodies. Um, I don't know if we should stay and find out who did this before leaving. Because our our original plan was to kill the grand. There's no one else around, right? Uh, you're current. There's no guards or anything around, but you are in the public area. Oh. Our original plan was to do the deed and then leave. If that's still the plan, and we have time, I, obviously, I, I, as I say, I don't know much about. It's going to sound horribly cavalier. I know that I don't mean it in such a way, but this can wait. Stopping the Grand Arcanist and freeing this city can't. This is our one shot. I understand. I, I mean, I don't want it to sound like I'm no, shirking I your pain or anything, but this is our shot. We're not going to have another chance. My pain has subsided for now and has turned to anger. And we can use that. Can use that to fuel us. We can, we can do this. We can bring justice to not only your mother, but all of Vault. Everyone that has been hurt by this bastard and what he's done to these people. We can stop it. We can do a good thing. That's if it was indeed him. Who else is it, Randall? Who is it? Who else would do this? How did he know? I don't know. How did he know? I don't know. We need to talk to, you know, A.V. Mm -hmm. This went all horribly wrong. I, how wrong? We need to know how wrong. I need, I need to find my father as well. Or at least try and get word to him. I think a lot of the answers are going to be in that tower. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, did we see the Arcanist, or did we just hear him when we were there? Uh, you, uh, at the end, you saw him up on the on his little like platform. Mm -hmm. Um, a big grin on his face. Uh, but you know, and you heard him beforehand, so you, you, he was there. Yes. What during the second round, you mean, or during the second round? And yes. we were the first ones yeah. up, right, for the second round. Uh, there were two other pools of blackness. Ah, oh, right. Okay. So. He's not there right now. Do you think? Do you think Mike would mind if um, if I put my mother in one of the rooms? And if Just temporarily. Sure a large sum of gold would help. We'll find a way. Okay. So, are you making your way back to the Opal Rock? Yeah. Okay. And as you make your way out of the arena and you arrive into the uh, for a fair. There are some people who have left the tournament ground and they're standing around. Everyone looks rather sullen. And as you walk past, they look up towards you and see you coming and just bow their heads. Can I make some form of perception check to see if Alba Rimbicht, if there is, is anywhere in the crowd, as in, is there anyone who's trying to give me a sign? Is there anyone who make acts perception checks differently? For that. Sure. That's 21. Okay, as you look around, um, you can't seem to see any, there's no banners or anything being held up. There's no one sort of dressed, you know, like Alborim. Um, no one seems out of place, but as you're, you know, looking around like this, you, know, you feel a tap on your shoulder. When you look, there's no one there. But you can feel now as a hand places itself mm -hmm. on your shoulder for a moment and then releases. Okay. But there's no, you can't see your hand, you just feel it. Yeah. If any one of the party is looking towards me, I I nod. I don't want to give anything away. I'm acting like a bouncer, so if anyone's like trying to get close or like look or anything, I'm just like, step the fuck okay. off. So eventually you make it back to the Opal Rock, and you open the door. Uh, Mike is stood on the stoop. She looks down at you all from... This is a, a couple of steps up to the entrance. I'm sorry. I just heard. Come on inside. Thank you. There's no one else in here. We still have some business to conduct um, before we need to leave. Is Would it be okay uh, if we leave the body here? Uh, we can pay if it's going to be trouble. I, we, I, don't, I don't know where, what else to do. It's, it's... No, we've already prepared the room. Thank you. One of the other competitors has agreed to help out in keeping in keeping her from decaying until you're able to deal with funerary rituals. That's very kind of them. Is it very. possible for me to, to meet them? Yes, they're just outside. Would you like me to call them in? Yes, please. And they go outside for a moment and they come back in. Um, and behind them, you see Alfred. He looks to you all. I 
I wish I could say it was good to see you again. Likewise. Come, Randall. Let's go get her settled in. Thank you. The rest of you excuse us for a moment. Of course. And he, he places a hand on your back, Randall, and helps steady your mother as he sort of leads you towards the stairs. Okay. And as he uh, takes you upstairs, um, he opens up one of the doors in there and you see inside the bed's been moved into the middle of the room. The sheets are folded outwards so that they can be folded over the body and there are a couple of flowers on the bedside. I place her down and uh, I do my best to just kind of cover her over as best I can I'd say like Randall doesn't really know what he's doing so he's just kind of after awkwardly a moment, trying to just after a moment uh, Alfred just sort of puts his hand forward and then sort of gingerly as if to say I can help thank you he folds them out folds over the cloth wraps them round so that he's laid peacefully there Hands over on the outside. No one is to come in here. Understood. Only myself. Have you checked to make sure there's nothing you wish to take before you leave? Still a little sore at the moment. Memento for the oncoming battle. I look down at her and just look at her for a moment. Tears running down my face. I kiss her on the forehead. And, um, does she have like a, a necklace or a ring or like just a, a, a small piece of jewelry? Her hands are something? currently clasped in rigor mortis, but there is a ring um, on the finger. The wedding ring. I should probably take that for my father. As you pull the ring off, uh, unfurling the hand, a piece of paper falls out. I open it and take a look. I can't deal this. As you look at it, you recognize the handwriting almost instantly as Arkson's handwriting. Telling her that you're here. If you'll excuse me. Of course. Could you send Wolfric up if you get a moment? I require him for a couple of the rites to ensure her safe passage. Certainly. And I leave the room and head back downstairs. Okay. While the, the, for the rest of you, while this is going on, you see Might sort of stood behind the bar, not really knowing what to do with herself. She looks over at an incredibly clean-looking tankard. She just picks it up and begins cleaning it, even though it's already clean. But after a moment, you hear it behind you clang to the floor as Might sort of shakes on their feet, goes woozy, and just collapses to the floor. As in a shimmer of the air in front of her, Albrum appears from invisibility. Sorry. Oh, sorry, these disguises. She could not know about this. So she is very helpful. She is not involved. And I do not wish to involve anybody further. We have already seen the consequences. I've rushed over just to make sure that she's okay. Oh, as you get over there, she lets out a really loud snore. Okay. 
Go put you in, saw like... what happened? Yeah. I did. <clears throat> I do not know how that happened. We did everything. There would have been no way. How can you do that in front of everyone? Nobody saw it. I was in the crowd. To them, that part did not happen. In fact, to the crowd, all they saw was the fight. Nothing else. Of course they didn't. That I was why really... they were cheering, is they thought you would want to fight. I really thought, like, I still think, I really thought until the very end she would just open her eyes. Or just, you know, poof, little cloud. Yeah. No, not real, nothing. He, he knows about us. He knows what we're here to do, of course. It's not an illusion. He's trying to divide us. He's trying to fuck us up so we don't fuck him up. Yes. Every single decision, it would seem. He has not found it through us. Is myself and Romeo, we have been so careful. It takes me four times as long to do my job as it normally does. I wouldn't surprise you if we didn't peg us the moment we set foot in the city. We could hmm. be careful all we like. Unfortunately, I do not know the exact moment he found out. But did you yes. watch her? Did you have her? Someone watch her? Yes. Did so she ever she... go? to Brecton no she has not left your shop I one evening she went to the toilet before going to bed then went to bed in the morning gone and by the time the word got to me. As this had already happened. And it's not like it was a member of you know, the other guard watching her. It was Winvinia herself. Yeah, well, apparently he already has powers that belong to someone else. Stupidly uh. powerful abilities. Mm. You see now why this has taken us so long. I don't know if you'll know about this, Alvin, but when we arrived, we saw another arcanist we know. Um, elven woman, long blonde hair. She was accompanied by two guards in black armor. Arcanists, or...? I don't know. Black armor accompanying antagonists like that. Is there look only. Happy if that's. Well, it is Emilia. I have never known her to look happy, but. I have a feeling that that is not a good thing. Don't you say they were coming into the portal? Mm -hmm. Black or darkness, they are the. Um, essentially, the secret police of the Ass of Cuprum. Oh, excellent. Inside the uh, Elsie's loyalists, to the Gandarkanists, they call them dust bringers. Let me guess, they disintegrate people. That is exactly their purpose. Alright, when do we move? We have to move quick, he's on to us. Sooner rather than later, it seems. If we keep going into the rounds... He can yeah. prepare for that. We're literally playing his game. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, we take the fight to him. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. We're running out of time, however. He is not stupid. That last fight, it took it out of all of you. 
So there's no way you can do anything for the rest of the day. At least not in action. So I do not think he will attack you while you are here today. You are being watched by everyone. They know about your grief. This is going to sound atlas now, but use that as a shield. And in the morning, that is when we go. Tower, right? It seems like that is the cost of action. At the end of Eros' match, Randall will know the way. There is the teleportation circles to the house. When you enter the arrivals room, Randall will know the directions to the headmaster's office. That is where we hear that the Grand Arcanist has been operating from, and the entrance to the tower is. I have no doubt that he will be very hard to control right now. Randall, as that is. Do not let him do anything stupid. But let him channel his anger. That will help in the coming storm. And he looks over to, uh, to, uh, my, I have to go. She'll be waking up soon. Good luck. And as he begins to vanish again, uh, you hear Randall come creaking down the stairs. Alfred. Um, yes. Al Alfred has asked for your assistance. As Wolfric goes to leave, can I just put a, a hand on him slightly and just go make make sure the stair don't please. Oh I will. Don't okay. worry. I head up the stairs. And on my way past I just put one hand on Randall's shoulder. And a bit firmer than I usually do. And then keep going. Okay, so you make your way upstairs. Mm-hmm. I need to get back into the city. I need to find my father. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this news will have reached him yet. News will travel fast, but... There's a good chance rather... that he is already under guard. If we go now, you know what would happen. Yeah. I hate to say it, but we have to be clever about this. If if you want, if 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 you want to find out who did this, if you want to stop whoever did this, and make sure that they don't get a chance to do it to anybody else ever again, we need to be careful. So this is yeah. now about your priorities. I'm not feeling particularly careful right now. No, and that's not a good thing. No, that's, that's why I that's why I have you guys around me. We're here to make sure that you end up safe more than anything. Well, whatever it is we are going to do, I need I need to rest up after that fight. We all do. Can I understand that? Yeah. So I'll just take tonight, process, heal up, get ready. What's, tomorrow. What sort of time is it? It's getting towards nightfall now. Because it was pretty late this. in the evening where we went for round two, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I inside check Randall? Yeah. Sure. I make a what, what, what are you? Right. What, what are you? In, <laughs> what are you inciting? I don't know. I want you're... to see if he's being reasonable. 
is his being reasonable or is his trying to calm us down so he can take off on his own to get to his father because that's what I would do okay um make a 19. deception check please Randall 19 even if I'm not being deceptive all right if you're not being deceptive then no I'm not just being deceptive at all okay Insight checks are hard against other players. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Randall I'm... appears to... It, it seems as if he's just... It's just, you know, the flame of grief is burning him out a bit. Mm-hmm. Right now. As much as I'd like to... If I'm my father and you are right. You're totally right. You'll get your chance. I'll make sure of it. Yeah? I'm not really thinking with my head right now. No, we need As you I'm here. Sure. I'm sad. Yeah? We got you. <laughs> we got you. <clears throat> so, what, why is Might on the floor? I need a drink. Oh, <laughs> she'll wake up in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Upstairs, Wolfric, you make your way into the room. You see mm-hmm. Alfred is now um, by... Uh, you know, by the bed, looking over uh, Nisarel. He looks over to you as you come in, just nods to you. Our circumstances and all that. <sighs> this is not usually our place. No. It's time for us to be protectors. I was going to prepare a body anyway, but as soon as I heard that somebody had offered... I decided to wait until I saw exactly who it offered, and I was, at least to say, glad when I saw you walk around the door. I had to break my oath slightly for it and tell a couple of lies, but I couldn't have might knowing I wasn't a tournament attendee. Yeah. He just gestures to the other side of the bed. Where yeah, I the go around. Room. So as you kneel down, Place your hands over together like that in prayer. Is there anything you'd like to say? Just a promise that I will do my duty and I will I will guard and watch over Randall since I didn't do the same and I wasn't vigilant enough to Spare this innocent. And as you say the words, uh, Alfred whispers a small, uh, like, commendation. Then you lead each other into prayers of hell. And as the moments pass, you feel that clarity of thought that you always do when praying to Helm, that piercing through the veil of confusion to the core of your faith. This journey is not yet over. A voice responds. Voice you heard before once long ago. Well, but have been silent until now. And as uh, you stand up, Alfred looks towards you and nods. One day we might get a response. I have cast what I can on the body to keep it Safe, gentle repose. That was my plan. By her side until until the time comes. I stand up and offer my hand. He takes it and he grabs your gauntlet. And I just say, um, he is listening. I know that for a fact. That's why I'm still here. 
uh, finish shaking his hand and uh, then leave the room after taking in all the features of Randall's mum's face and p- picking out all the ones that, oh, wait, yeah, that is Randall. Yeah, yeah the same nose. Oh, this is a fun day. And then I leave. That was all just sort of processed. He didn't actually say that out loud because that would have been really expensive. <laughs> but that's his thought process of, oh, well, this can get... This This is a, such a fantastic time we're all having. Yeah. So you make your way back downstairs again and join the rest of the party. By this point, Mike's awake and has offered a free beer to Randall. Which Randall drinks very quickly. Probably a bit too quickly. Dribbles a little bit of it. Just so you know, all your stays are free for the rest of... Well, whenever, really. You're always welcome here. Thank you, Mike. It's very kind of you. I watched the plan. We rest. Then tomorrow. Rest up. Tomorrow we. We burn that fucking tower to the ground. Yeah. You didn't hear that, Mike. Hear what? Perfect. Excellent. Nice. It's no problem. So, is there anything else you'd like to do tonight? My, if you get offered uh, a copper choker at any point, try not oh, to. No offense, love, but copper's not really my color. Good. Let's <sighs> keep it that way. Yeah. Of a gold gal myself. Yeah. I can see that would look much better on you. Yeah, yeah. Usually yeah. in gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I am going to, um, when I rest tonight, I'm going outside under a okay. tree. I'm going to find a really nice tree, and that's where I'm going to meditate tonight. Is there anywhere else you'd like to go tonight? Um, I'm you're, While we're eating drinking, I'm, I want to play the loose a bit, which I haven't done in a long time. And yeah. uh, uh, afterwards, when we go to bed, I want to get Julian back with my last... Find familiar yep. ingredients. So as Julian conjured, is conjured back to being in front of you, they look upon your face, the head twist, twist to the side. Master, hmm. is everything okay? No. Okay, Master. It really isn't. I will help fix it. Thank you. It's much appreciated. Who do you need me to slay, Master? (laughs) You'll notice. You'll notice when we're there. Command me as you always do, Master. Thank you. So. I'm going to be sitting in my room on my own with uh, a flagon of water rather than alcohol. Okay. Um, and, and and just like a little bit of food on a plate, nothing for too fancy, just some meats and maybe some cheese. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm going to be sort of just playing with the ring, the wedding ring a little bit, and I'll put it on, on my right hand finger instead of the left, put it on the right. Yeah. And then I read the letter or the note and I read it again and I read it again and I read it again and then uh, I put it on the plate I scramble it up I put it on the plate and I use uh, precipitation to light it on fire okay as it burns away See the last words, he is safe, before 
The flame burns away the rest of the parchment. I crack the window open a little bit. And I try and sleep. Okay. So as Taylor makes her way outside, the rest of you bed down for the evening. Is there anything else anyone would like to do before? Um... No? No. No. Okay. No. Well. Though sleep is hard, eventually it does come. It wouldn't call it restful, but it is sleep nonetheless. As you awake in the morning, bleary eyed still reeling from the events of yesterday. We're going to take a quick break. All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, and unfortunately, when we come back, we are down a player. Um, Joe's not been feeling well all day, so he's stepped away for the rest of this session. I was going to get some rest, so hope you're feeling better soon, bud. If you're still tuning in, um, sorry for the rather depressing episode so far. Speaking of depressing episode. Let's get back into it, shall we? Because this train has no brakes and only one setting, and that's tears. So. <laughs> Just like that. It's a very in the morning, train. you uh, find yourselves waking up. The mood is still sullen and low. Uh, not just with yourselves, but it seems with the entire area around, the energy of the tournament seems to have abated quite significantly in the uh, in the dawn. So you all congregate downstairs. Might serves up some breakfast to you all wordlessly with just a solemn nod. And um, what would you like to do? Go back in, eat up, and get ready to head out. Mm. Like, my mind right now is just fuck them up. That's all I've got right now. Just fuck them up. Okay. Um, I'm going to very quietly take a minute and, like, away from people and just. Um, I'm going to quietly talk to Cricket in Infernal. Um, okay. Just, just ever so quietly. Um, just, just to tell Cricket to stay here and be careful. Um, and, you know, should anything happen, just, just to stay safe. Like, Cricket okay. knows how to stay safe. Please stay safe. Mm -hmm. So, as you get your fingers together and sort of uh, silent acknowledgement of each other and knowing what you plan to do this morning, Armor is donned, weapons are sheathed, and you set out. Not towards the arena this time, though, but towards the portal leading out. You see a few people as you go past. Once again, they bow their heads to you. And eventually you come across the portal. You look in front of it now, it looks the same on this side as it does on the other side. You see the twisting... Uh, nexus of energy which leads back into the material plane. You step through? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So as you step through, you see that moment of darkness that you saw when you came in. But it does not fade. And slowly you see a shape appearing from underneath you. And that's a, a moth in my room. And as Gandalf. it gets... <laughs> yeah. As it gets closer and closer, you see it is the shape of a great hand. As it touches underneath you, it picks you up and pulls you closer to another object. 
as you see a towering face of the Grand Darkness looking down upon you as it holds you in the palm of its hand. Well, it looks like you're trying to leave. We can't be having that now, can we? And as the hand closes over, you're once again bound in darkness. And around you now, points of light begin to appear. Stars all about you. As a piece of rock comes and meets you. Landing underneath you, and you sit now in the star field on a single solitary rock a small pool of water and a tree from which hang a few apples we'll see how isolation benefits you <laughs> enjoy your stay I'm guessing we can see each other at least. You can, yeah, yeah. You're all, you're all together. You're on a, an island now. It's probably about forty feet across. Does Small. it feel astral sea like? Um, no, there's not nearly enough purple and weird stuff. Good. I feel like, yeah, we've seen weird. Um, can I reach one of the apples on the tree? Yeah. I'm gonna pick up. Fruit. Okay. I'm going to pick that, and I'm just going to throw it off the edge. Throw it off the edge, it falls off and tumbles down into nothingness. How many more are there? There's like five. I'll take the rest of them, and I'm going to throw all the rest of them off as well. Okay. Does this tree look quite sturdy? Yeah, so it's a heavy apple tree. Right. You want, you want a great sword for that? No. Mm. Well. <clears throat> There's nothing around us, as in, like, Starry Night and that's it. Starry Night and that's it, yeah. Can I Is tell? it at least, like, warm? Pardon? Is it at least, like, warm? It, it's a comfortable temperature, yeah. Good. That's all right, then. Can I tell uh, if this is real or if this is an illusion? I was thinking along the same lines. Uh, roll intelligence to try and disbelieve. Intelligence? Oh, no. Just straight up intelligence? Just a straight up intelligence, Oh, well, yeah. this is a straight d20. Can I go for that as well, since I was yes. planning on doing the same? Ah, uh, 15. Yeah, I'm not good with intelligence. Ooh, that's going to be great. Uh, that's a, that's a three. Good job. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's, you try and find the gaps in reality what, that make this seem to be an illusion. You're unable to, and eventually it sets in that perhaps this is real. Hmm. So what happened to the apples? They just disappeared. Mm-hmm. They just fell and fell <laughs> and fell. Uh, well, seeing as we're here, I'm just going to spend ten minutes and cast a tech magic as a divination ritual. I'm okay. sending Julian out, see how far they can fly. Julian just flies for the entire ten minutes that Randall is casting. Uh, when, by the time they fly back, Randall is finished. Yeah. Um, and Julian just says, it goes on forever, Master. Yeah. But as you finish casting the tech magic... Um, Randall uh, and your eyes flare with arcane power you stare around and you see an intricate lattice weaved around you of magic still in an extra plane of space around you spells are weaved together like a great tapestry each individual thread a different spell interlinked together to create one gigantic Anyone got anything that can get rid of magic? I do indeed. And I will cast Dispel Magic. I got that See if too. it does anything. 
Okay, uh, how does the spell magic work for me again, please? Uh, choose any creature, object, or magical effect within range, so within 120 feet. Any spell yep. of third level or lower on the target ends. For each spell of or higher on the target, make an ability check using your spellcasting ability. DC is 10 plus the spell's level. Okay, um, I would like you to make that check then, please. Okay, so that'd be a wisdom check. Mm hmm. I have wisdom out the butt, so that would be 20, not natural. Okay, so as you begin to cast uh, Dispel Magic, you have it as a ritual, did you say? Uh, or are you just casting it? You're just casting it? Yeah. Okay, so as you begin to weave uh, the Dispel Magic around you, you, uh, drawing on Randall's guidance, aim for one of the spells in this intricate lattice. Mm -hmm. With a flash of this combination of arcane and divine energy, it crashes against the now visible wall of this area, and you hear what sounds like uh, a rope or a chain snapping. And then everything around you just goes blank and begins to fall in on itself. You hear screams, you hear people shouting. Oh, shit. You hear the clatter of equipment, you hear liquid going everywhere. And then poof, you're all thrown out of the portal. You, you and the rest of your party come skidding first out of it along the hero's causeway, bouncing along the floor, thrown a good hundred meters away from the exit of this portal as every single non-conjured object in this extra plane of space comes spilling out onto the floor. You hear the clatter of metal. You hear guards everywhere. The sound of uh, wood splintering as every person comes out. Deposited safely, though not softly, out onto the floor around you now. Susie, did you just break a, f a, a, a type of reality? Yeah, I yeah. broke a small... I just put my hand on, on her... Right shoulder, <laughs> not the left one. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, um, done with my usual finesse. And uh... <laughs> can, can, can I make a suggestion? Yeah, we should be pegging it like yeah, now. Yeah, we fucking go. Yeah, yeah we, we, we pick we, ourselves yeah, up we, and go. To be but the most we conspicuous be... we can. Okay. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, we're going to the teleportation thing. Okay. Randall, you throw your arm out, pointing to the rest of the party where to go. As you charge across the hero's march, you can see behind you now, people are beginning to pick up everything. You see Evergard uh, looking up, pointing towards you all. Um, and you, you hear the distant shouts of, get them! As you charge uh, into the alcove uh, on the side of hero's march. And you uh, are confronted now between you and the teleportation circle, there are four Everguard. But around their necks, you see the copper chokers. However, that's not the extent it is. You see lines like circuitry of copper spread up from the choker and is digging into their flesh. Their entire uh, skin tone has turned a pale, uh, almost corpse-like color. And their eyes are sunken, and as they look at you now, you hear them in a raspy tone, which sounds like the breath has been stolen from them. You hear them call out, Get them! Fireball! No. <laughs> as your hand comes up, and you see the, the ritual circle begins to appear around your hand, symbolizing you casting the spell, you hear behind you, You get away from my son! And a bolt of lightning cracks through the air as you all smell ozone leaping between each of them and you you feel all of the metal in them just suddenly crack inwards as Lichtenberg scars scatter across them before the entirety of each of them is just blown to dust. I stop casting. I turn around. Mm. As you turn around, you see stood there in the doorway Sleeves ripped apart by the sheer force of this spell. Your mum. 
Okay. Uh. Mm -hmm. She stands there now. You see as the raw arcane energy, no ritual circle or anything, succeeds from her hands. I. Her face but... softens, and you see on her forehead a symbol of a gauntlet. Wait, mm. what? Hmm. I. But. Hmm. I look I from just, Wolfric I to... just fall to my knees. Do I recognize the gauntlet? <laughs> yeah, it's quite clearly the symbol of hell. <laughs> what did you do when you were up preparing her? What, what? As far as I know, not that. <sighs> and she rushes towards you, Randall. She falls to her knees and pulls you into a strong embrace. It's okay. Hi. It's okay. How? What? I, I don't understand. How is this possible? She just strokes your hair. Goes, shh, shh, shh. I'm not quite sure myself. Can I insight check to make sure this is actually yeah. who I think it is? Yeah. Because <laughs> this is fucking bullshit. The highest order. <laughs> 16. Um, you, you, you know your mum. This, this is your mum. I, I thought you were dead. I thought I'd she lost you. Pat you on the back. Her hand tightens slightly on you. I think I was. Don't know how I got here, but I'm here now. I'm glad that you are. And that was, that was cool. Thanks. I've still got some fight left in me yet. It's good to see that. How does she look, though? Is she like mm. pale? Is, is there like you know anything in their eyes? The, the colors come back to her face. She looks fine. Um, the blood still stains the front of her shirt from where the blade went through. Um, her sleeves are obviously ripped now from uh, casting that spell. I wonder uh, you end up in a good look at that. Just to it's, see you... It's, just, you know, it's like a, almost like a tattoo on her forehead. It's symbol of a gauntlet. Do you, do you remember She's what happened? I need a fringe. No. No offense. But... <laughs> I saw you running here, and I, I just followed. I'm glad you're safe. Yes, well, we might not be safe for much longer. We need to go. And as you say that, uh, the, you hear the sound of footsteps stamping closer, and you can hear that heavy rasping breathing coming from that you heard coming from the guards in front of you coming from behind you now and your mum stands up and goes don't worry i know they're coming now they won't get me again and you see now as the lightning courses through her hands once again she turns away from you go i'll be here when you get back okay i'll i'll see you later i guess you will Oh, and before I go, and I take the ring back off and I give it back to her. She disperses the lightning for a moment, grabs the ring and slips it onto her finger. And Randall? I love you. And with that, she just lets out a gout of lightning out forward that tears through the first guard, which comes close. Now go. Okay. That was badass, guys. I run past him and just clap on the shoulder. Super cool. Like, yeah, that was fucking sweet. Let's go. <laughs> Can we right. swap out Randall for his mum? <laughs> She's way cooler right. than he is. So, as you run inside, you uh, are now in a sort of pyramid-shaped uh, interior, and there are small, like almost like cubicles, um, with partition walls between them, and in each of them are several small dais, uh, and on top of them. Uh, there, you see there is a pre-carved circle of runes that seems to, every now and again, lift up from the dais for a moment, 
in glowing letters before falling to the ground. Okay, which one do we need? So, anyone how to know how to drive this thing? Randall? They all lead to the same place, Randall. Yeah. Okay, we just touch one? What do we do? Uh, boom! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. So, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I, I know how to get to the headmaster. So I would uh, try and make the, the. Try and get there as quickly as possible, but if possible, not going a. necessarily going a direct route, um, unless there is no other route. Um, so, um, you. As Taylor goes like that and <laughs> slams into one of them, nothing seems to happen. You know that. Um, Magic is required to activate these, and someone would have to uh, stay here to activate them and not go up. Yeah. Uh, can your mum do that? Well, she's not here, she's outside. You just hear the sound <laughs> behind you. Yeah. I Pretty sense Julian thing. flying. Okay. Um, so someone needs to stay here to do this. Otherwise, we can't get up there. What if we help her real quick with the... Yeah. The guards. Is, is there any way other than these to get up to the tower so someone can catch up with us? Or... Uh, I mean, if you can fly. No. Oh. Um, Julie, you hear Julian's voice. Um, How many are out there? What's the situation? Uh, Julian goes, Master... There are at least 50 guards. They don't look right, Master. They look dead, Master. There are golems, too. There is a very big one coming. I can turn undead. I can't turn, un like, turn on golem. That's not a thing. Master, I see someone. Master, it's Dromia. Fly to Dromia. Those are the big guns outside at the moment. Mm -hmm. I tell the others Dromia's outside. Well, he can deal with whatever the fuck's happening out there. Um, does the person staying have to be able to use magic? Yes. They have to be an <laughs> arcane spellcaster. I'm out. I'm out. Well, well, I guess that's me then. We can't just no. leave no. you. No. You can't get... just stay here. You get your revenge. Yeah, I'm we, we're doing, doing this for you. I mean, also I, for the people. But involved, what other choice do we have? Is there anyone else running around? Can we just get someone to just boop us out really quickly and then go yeah, back to fighting? Yeah, that's what I was saying. When um, Dromia, your mother, whoever's out there, can just the magic person, the fucking shitty wizards or whatever, ask them to just boop us and then fight. I run it back outside, screaming. Can anyone give us a lift? You hear Dromir. Uh, Dromir turns to you as he, you see his blade sinks through the air, completely separate from his hands as he controls yeah. it from a couple of feet away, just <laughs> slicing through. You see him slice through three enemies at once. He just turns to you and goes, I'm coming. And he just seems to envelop himself inside his own robe, just and is gone. And the rest of you see as Dromir appears. What's going on? Oh, I run back inside. <laughs> well, we need an arcane user to help us get Teleport this device. So he puts his hand out like to the side, and the so his sword comes whisking through the corridors, and you hear it clinking off the sides into his hand. Right, good. I will do the spell, and I must go. There's a golem yep. out there, and as much lightning as your mum. Why, why is? I I don't know. Just just as much just as go with can. it. <laughs> That's a very large golem. Yep. World Song, help me. That's going to be very hard to take down. Album is you out there as well. I'm not sure where. He seems to be in 20 places. This is not how I expected this to go down. This is what we were trying to avoid. Well, Have this is what's happening. Tower? Have we seen the tower? No. Probably best I don't tell you what's going on with it then. And he, you see him. He put, <laughs> slams his hand into the floor and all of you just are pulsed into the air. Halfway by, through uh, going, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you're blasted up through these ritual circles, into the sky. And as you land, you find yourself in a long atrium corridor. At the end of it, there is a huge tapestry splayed up against the back wall, depicting the Grand Arcanist in a pose where he looks to be looking down on you. Um, 
and he has a book in one hand and a quill in the other and you see interconic um is spelt the words we work to protect the people from the devils of magic and it looks very sort of propaganda i shoot an arrow in its eye yeah the <laughs> second i arrive up top i always have fire in my hand and like the hint of a smile because taylor is like fucking in it she is <laughs> there I'm putting uh, two and two together as Taylor we... fire tapestry. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor, do the honors, please. So it's the, pleasure. the fire hits. It. See this uh, very expensive tapestry just begins burning very slowly from the bottom, uh, and now you hear a <laughs> as two um, arcanists appear. <laughs> one either side, one at each entrance. You see the collar there now as it as it claws its way up the sides of their necks. I would suggest that you stand aside. That you see now that they're trying really hard to not do anything, but their hands are forced towards component pouches and arcane focuses. And as they do, you, you hear it. <laughs> and out the back of both of their throats, you see a dagger. Oh, shit. Go. Who oh, did? Go, now. There's oh, nothing more you can do here. Says so this is not your fight. You must go to the headmaster's office. Yeah. Oh, down the, you know where it is. Randall. As you run past now, you see the daggers are pulled out, and there is no wound left behind. And as you fall to sleep, you hear the horrible sounds of two uh, arcanists snoring very loudly. Sleep daggers, I like it. I want these. Yeah, I... those are fucking sweet. I think as I'm running very fast. <laughs> <laughs> In my mind, it was like, oh no, they're fought against their will to do this. Oh no, he just killed them. Oh wait, no, it's fine. Okay, keep going. <laughs> so, as, as you're running now, you see uh, behind you this huge fist slams through the uh, through the corridor behind you, tearing a part of it away. And as, it looks, as you look up, you see the face of this arcane golem staring down a good hundred feet tall. But as it does, you see a sword <laughs> slice across it. As it begins to fall, you just keep going going to do a skill challenge now guys i would like you all to roll acrobatics for me acrobatics <laughs> fuck yeah mm. well mm. well shit it was nice knowing you all yeah that is a straight yeah, yeah. roll 18 oh. oh i didn't do that oh. 15 um, oh no guys I'm, guys please I'm, I'm, yeah I'm well okay uh because that was a natural one so i'm gonna use my portent i'm gonna roll a 19 instead okay <laughs> so uh randall's not doing a natural one on that. Mm. Thank you. What did you roll in random total? Uh, 19. Okay. Taylor? 18. Adar? That was a 5. Okay. Uh, Nis? 12. Wolfric? 15. Okay, as you roll charge, now you see Adara starts lagging behind, but as you... As she does, you see she puts out her glaive. One, one of you, Wolfric, you reach back, grabbing onto the blade of it with your gauntleted fist. You hook your finger around a ringlet and you pull her forward as the the next uh, fist of this golem slams in and tears that part of uh, tears the next section of corridor away. But of you, uh, in front of you now, there is an arcane circle appears on the ground. Another skill challenge, Arcana, arcane check from all of you, please. Also going to be great. Oh, I'm, I'm. This is okay. I'm okay with this one. Ooh, I rolled a little better. Oh. Um, 19. I have a extra. Uh, 16. Seven. 20, not natural. 9. Alright, so 7, 9, and the rest of you were above 16. 15. Okay, so as you run forward now, uh, you see you slide into this arcane circle, unable to stop, and as it does, it erupts in arcane energy. Uh, Taylor and Wolfric, you are caught in the blast, taking 10 points of, of uh, force damage Absolutely. as an arcanist appears in the middle of it. He with stands there for him. Pardon? With the 17? Sorry, I thought you said a 7. No. I apologize. So, you keep cutting out slightly a bit tonight. Uh, so. Yeah, it's, it might actually just be my actual voice <laughs> putting out. It might um, not be the mic. As you slide underneath you, Wolfric, you catch him with your shield up end over end. He slams into the floor behind you. Caught by his own blast, you hear the power, the painful scream as he tumbles to the floor. And as you keep, you keep going, and you can see at the end of the corridor now, the headmaster's office is in sight. Are the doors shut? Doors are not shut. Mm. As I'm running, I want to cast invisibility on myself. Okay. Ooh, hang on a second. 
Uh, uh. Shit. Never mind. Because thank you, so, Arkson. I did my you, research. As you vanish away, um, the, invis the invisibility spell catching hold, you slowly begin to disappear until you're completely invisible to the naked eye. Now, as you slide, you slam through the ajar doors into the headmaster's office just to see a figure vanish from view uh, into uh, a gateway that is in the headmaster's statue. It's just... Is there anyone else in here? So now you are in the headmaster's study. It's very large. There are bookcases lining each wall, and there is a bay window at the back. So in front of that bay window is a tall statue on a, on a high plinth, and a portal has just vanished from that statue. There's a large desk which appears. Everything on the desk has been thrown to the sides. Um, and the desk itself has been upturned. So there's no one else in here? No. Hmm. So is the portal still open or is it? The portal has just winked out. We need that back, Randall. Do the thing. Can you, can you make the thing? We need that. And as you, look out, as you look outside now, the plain stone tower you had seen before has opened up and the top of it, the top third has slid out and has separated and you can see it's spinning round now. On the interior, there are uh, rectangular, very perfectly shapen lay crystals on the interior of each of these pieces as they rotate round now. And in the center of it, you see there is a, a golden uh, sort of orrery-like device that spins around a very filigree orb Oh, no. That can only be a good thing, right? And then the, the center of the tower um, goes through the center of this orb. This is a very mm. Things to smash! Very... Things... No, 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 this is... Oh, no. Things to smash! It's fine! You shouldn't Let's... smash the crystals. Oh, oh, this is so bad, this is so bad, this is so fucking bad. Um, while this is... I'm okay. just searching for anything that I could find that's potentially to do with Calciferous, just really quickly... Anything like okay, find? Uh, up and make an investigation check for me, please, with disadvantage because you are panicked. I'm gonna run up to the statue that where the uh, the portal was, okay, and I'm gonna see whether it'd be possible to push it through the window. Uh, uh, seventeen with enough force. Okay, um, seventeen. As you look through, you you pick up everything from the notes. You don't find anything mentioning mentioning calciferous. However, you do find. Um, schematics blueprints like blue paper blue mm. blueprints for a rectangular device um and uh that appears to have like a like a pin on top it looks the, the measurements show it to be about half a meter uh, big um and it it says uh arcane uh bomb and underneath it has some specifications, that, alchemical stuff that you don't fully understand, but um, it states, test on elvish tribe in Drevhia, successful. Motherfucker. And I, I pretty much shout that at the top of my voice and stir the prince. Okay. Um, just before you do, though, you notice that production count total marked on this. One has been crossed out, and two is marked. Um, the statue, Randall, is incredibly heavy, um, probably weighing over a ton in total. It's a very, it's like a foot high tall, like a, a story high tall statue. Oh, okay, right. Made okay. out of solid rock. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, we should find a way to stop this from doing whatever it's doing, I suppose. Can yeah. I see an, anything that seems trapped? Any entrance that could be a secret door to anything else? Uh, make an investigation check. Yeah, and um, when he teleported away, did it look like he teleported using the statue, or teleported in front it, of the it, statue? The, 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 it was a specific door in the plinth of the statue. Right, I'd like to check out the statue to see... Okay, you say, make yeah, an investigation. If that's, if that's okay. point. Investigation yeah. check from both of you then. Seventeen mm -hmm. from you. Uh, investigation. Nineteen. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, seventeen. All right. So, Nis, as you're looking around the room, um, you're trying to find anything, traps or any mechanisms or anything. But mm -hmm. as you're looking around, Wolfric, you see small patches of blood on the ground leading up to a bookcase. And as you 
rifle through, you pull all of the books uh, out, you find one of them, the front cover has a hand on it, and the blood appears to be on this, like it has an indent of a hand on the front cover, and the blood is on this indent of a hand. I um, show it to Randall, he's like, Randall, do you know anything about this? Do I? <laughs> to your knowledge, you haven't seen anything like this before. I've not seen anything like that before. Uh, does it look like someone's put their hand in it, it and squished like all the has, blood? It looks like someone has, with a bloody hand, has put their hand onto the front of this book, where the, the print of the hand is on the book. And then the blood trail leads towards the statue. No, the blood trail leads to the book. I right. with, with my mage hand, I push in. Nothing seems to happen. Um, is it I a regular book? I, I take my dagger out, and I... This might be the only way to make it work. I agree. Okay. Try. And I don't look. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, Wolfric, can you do it? <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't do it. <laughs> you, 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 fine. You do it. Just, just, you do it a little bit. Fine, just a little bit. Yeah. Ow! So you, okay. you take three points of damage. Three? <laughs> three? Yeah. Holy crap. Well, Wolfric, you're tendons. You got attacked by a dagger. Okay. It's like you're quite helping your palm. It's, it's just, it's not. Don't do that, guys. Don't. Yeah, no. Fantasy the worst guys position. Just so don't. I, it's like yeah. I kind of like do that to try and get the blood pumping and stuff, and yeah, then I, you, yeah, it is pouring out. And then I'm just like, well, here goes nothing, and I put my hand uh, into the thing. Put your hand onto it and you see there's a slight flash as the arcane uh, symbols hidden in the cover of the book spark and you hear <laughs> as the portal opens once again on the statue. I go in first and oh. I tell the others because they still can't see me. So Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go in straight just, just, just after you, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fire. Okay. With my so. left, I've shifted my shield to my right arm now and I'm casting everything through my right left because I am fucking okay. furious. So, as you... Um, run through uh, the portal you find yourself in the bottom of the tower you can see it's cylindrical around you now there's a staircase winding up the bottom here is filled with with books and the books here look ancient some of them are absolutely huge not the size that a human would uh, would ever read uh, there are scrolls there are vials there are all sorts there's an alchemical workstation in the center of the room on a round uh, table and there is this big long staircase leading up and everything in the bottom here has been absolutely trashed and you hear the hum of the tower above you and the blood trail leads up the stairs this stuff looks really neat and i really want to stay here and, and look at it all but we need to yeah maybe later mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah there's okay. no one in there is no one in this area okay. uh, you can't see anyone no all right this up the stairs. Yeah, I'm running after the blood trail. Mm -hmm. Tracking. Yep. Okay. So, as you go charging up the stairs, you can hear the sound. This hum of the tower gets more and more and more until it's this ear-piercing just screech of pure arcane energy being cracked and pulled as it influences the entire area around you. This appears now to be the source of the arcanist's power, at least in some form. And as you get closer and closer, it begins to fill your vision. You see hallucinations around you. You step through one of them. You see someone wearing robes that look far more affluent than your own, Randall. And as they do, you hear them talking about something that they call the Tower of the Fleeting Damsel. as you step through now you see the walls around you the outside of the tower now have vanished they are now the bits floating around outside and as you look you can see the city you can see fires in the city now the area around the um, the gold pot and the, uh, the upper parts of the city are covered in flames and there are people running around it seems like the city has gone into full blown revolt copper chokers versus those without copper chokers Good. And as you make your way to the top, now you stand. Looking up, you see this golden sphere above you as each part of this orrery-like device spins around you. You hear it 
Fum, 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 fum. As the hum of arcane energy continues around you, sparks of arcane lightning split between each of the pieces. A figure stands before you. Tall, slender, in rags. Their left arm up out of their robes, sparking with arcane energy as the cracks in their arm flicker with power. Calciferous stands, looking away from you. You can see, even from the back, his entire expression of that is aggression, and he is looking down over the city as if searching for something. Where is he? Where is the Grand Arcanist? You see the head turns towards you and goes, You're working for him. You would know. I, at this, when, as he turns around, um, wrapping's <sighs> off, off straight away. And I'm like, Stop, no. <sighs> Enough yeah. falls to my curse. We are not working for him. We are working against uh, him. Why do you think we're here? You are his pawns. Just like everyone in this city. We're here no, to destroy him. You would do well to be under my boot. Blasted mortals and humans. You do you know where the Grand Arcanist is or not? If I knew that, you think I would be stood here and not digging my claw into that man's head? Well, that's reassuring to know that we are actually on the same page as far as that's concerned. We are not on the same page, betrayer. You are just as him. No, no, we're really not. This is the lay. They tell me you're lying. That scarring you have tells me you're lying. Do you hear the madness in your head? Do you hear this very planet clawing away at yourself? If the lay told you we were lying, ask the lay how I got this. I know how you got this. He gave it to you. He gave it to me. Nope. He cursed me with this when he took my power and now I'm taking it back. Nope, I did this. This was me. No. No. I you did this. Lie. You all lie. I will kill you all. And you see now as his form begins to shift, bend, his arm outstretches, gets larger. You see his hands become clawed. The skin begins to be replaced with vermilion scales as his head pulls out into a large snout and horns buckle from the top of his head and spill out until before you now tearing great gouts out of the top of this tower sits the form of an adult red dragon the entire left side of his body is covered in these lay scars you see it drags up into his head crystal formation stick from the side around his uh, shoulder and uh, on his uh, elbow lay crystal split from the side as he tears into the side of this tower and now his eye flares with arcane fire as we roll for initiative as a tail comes around and takes out the entire bottom of the tower below you and it begins suspending in mid air oh man all those books <laughs> we're so fucking dead oh no Nope. <laughs> oh no. Okay, that's not bad. <clears throat> Perfect. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't think this was going to happen. This isn't a map I didn't have prepared. <laughs> Give me a photo, man. Oh no. You guys, you guys bypassed the block. Good job. Uh, it's yeah, really funny, it seems to be a week for that. I we know that loads of XP before I get into the dragon, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, encounters like XP, but he will not proof. Don't worry, you found the, the good XP. <laughs> okay. Where is it? My apologies for a moment, folks. 
So, uh, about about all that dragon slaying stuff, we've definitely got. Oh yeah. Um, you mean tenacity as adventurers? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll tell you what. Because we're a man down tonight, and this is a big fight. Uh huh. Let's call the session early for tonight. Okay. And next week, we will return with the fight versus Calciferous with the proper map and everything. Mm -hmm. And we will see you then. Um, now, uh, thank you all for joining us tonight. I know start you know, ending a bit earlier is not exactly what everyone wanted, but this fight is going to take a while, and that would put us past our time, and a few of us aren't feeling very well. I've had surgery today, um, so I'm a little out of it, but uh, and I think everyone needs to recover from the first half of the session a bit. So, um, again, apologies for ending a bit earlier, but unfortunately planning is as planning goes, and I got caught out this time. So, um, once again, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please remember to hit Susie's follow button, and if you can afford it, please hit that subscribe button. It supports Susie greatly. That's fantastic. Uh, remember to follow us all on Twitter, especially Susie, because she will tweet out whenever her stream... Um, goes uh, live and you can catch any of her other streams in addition to Talavir, including brand new every other Wednesday, we have Bike Club, which you can also find me, Lydia, and Jamie in, and it is fantastic. Susie is a wonderful DM and the first session was great, which is currently available for her Patreons um, and on Wednesday will become available to everybody. Yeah. And then you can catch up on that before, before the session of Bike Club. Um, on the 12th. Yes. The next session. So, um, yeah. did someone else have anything to say? Nope, I think we're good. For Please sake. send help. Next week, send so much I help. Might... Suddenly, dragon. Yeah. Next week, I probably won't be bleeding from my face if I sneeze, so that'll be good. <laughs> I'll Just be your character. To be top Just your shit. character will. Yeah, All yeah. right. Um. Thank Bye. you. Good night. Nice.